sixth day of sugar free challenge and the sleeping husky. So cute. Oh, it's going okay. Made some more buns today and uh, made a leek pie with no sugar in. So, um, yeah, just exploring more things. When I don't really see candy and sweets and that, I don't really have the craving for it. I, like yesterday, I just mainly have the craving when I'm a bit snackish. And then I know, okay, go and get a kiwi or go and get some bread or actually have some food. Because I am really bad at eating still. I, I do try, but it is difficult. And sometimes you just can't. You just don't want You just really tired. I've been moving things around and that. Um, well, I've all been fine. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm drinking babies. Apparently, Bailey's does not have sugar in it. It is just alcohol, cream, and with chocolate taste, and two or three other E numbers stuff. But, um, so, I know that. Yeah. Which is nice because I kind of wanted to have something special and I only drink um, Bailey's or what do you call it, um, cherry wine as the only alcohol really other than uh, Christmas white beer as we call it in Denmark, oh, white beer or Christmas beer. But um yeah, so my Saturday evening is boiling myself with homemade ice cream of banana and uh, strawberry on that and homemade uh, um, potato chips with um, salt and vinegar made in my dehydrator. Bailey's homemade lemonade where instead of sugar, I just put uh, a bit of honey in. Since I'm allowed honey, just in limited quantities, not like eating it out of the container directly, which I usually do in a snack way, so. And today I had omelette with bacon that, so I'm learning also that with eat more fats, it's good for you. Like bacon and especially things like avocado and that, you know, where there's the good fats. And also a little of the bad. It's when fat and sugar is together that it's dangerous. But fat alone goes well. And sugar, well, we're trying to avoid that. So all in all, diet is better. And um, yeah, my body is reacting well. I still have some headache and feel really tired. And I am considering definitely going a week more to see how, um, what do you call it? How the whole thing works out with the detoxing, like, can I feel any difference in that? So, we'll see on Monday when uh, I'll do a before and after one week thing and see what I decide. So, uh, keep watching and subscribe if you like to see that video. See you tomorrow.